Evening Post, Monday, December 24th, 1945. A Happy Christmas. The stage is set and ready for the happiest Christmas Jersey has known for the last six years. The spectre of war has disappeared. Enemy troops no longer issue commands and impose restrictions. And if the island is not yet back to the pre-war standard of good living, there is nevertheless a sufficiency of good fare such as few could have visualized as they lived through the Christmas of 12 months ago. Gratitude should therefore be the keynote of tomorrow's festivities and Jersey has much reason to be grateful. Not only for the manner of the island's liberation, but also for the generous provision for the islanders' welfare made in so many ways by a benevolent British government and the people of Britain and overseas. Many of our readers have expressed their feeling of gratitude in a practical manner by subscribing to one or other of the special funds which have been opened. And tickets for food and coal have been freely dispensed to the poor and the needy. There is, therefore, no reason why any man, woman or child in Jersey should find themselves tomorrow without a good meal and a warm fire. Things which in so many cases were lacking in the Christmas of 1944. And tomorrow there will be happier reunions than has been possible for some years. For families which have been separated during the occupation have been reunited and many service and ex-servicemen will sit down at the festive board. So, we should enter upon tomorrow in a spirit of deep and fervent gratitude, remembering that it is the natal day of him from whom all blessings flow, and without whose aid all human effort would have been without avail. To all our readers we wish a truly happy Christmas.